you ask me this question about how the school is shaping my child, I suppose one of the things that I really think about is the way that I can is doing sport and the way that the swim team works. So um, for me, this is really the first experience with competitive sport. I was never really into sport myself. And then I see how through that swimming, Rosa is doing something that encourages individual excellence. I mean, swimming is an, is an individual sport. You are on your own competing. But yet what I really love about the way that ICANN is doing the swimming is that what Rosa is learning the most, actually, um, she's learning about winning and losing. It's a very important life lesson, but she's also learning about being in a team. So the swimming, while it's individual, it operates completely as a sport, as a team. So every time we go to the swim meet, it's like the, the competition she's in are very important to her, the races she's in. But she also really cares about the other races and how all the team members are doing. And like a big part of being there is to have to be there to cheer for everyone else. And like for her, she takes that as seriously as she takes her own race. It's not just do your race, you've done your best, go home. It's just a whole team approach and I just think that's that for me I really see how that has encouraged her to be someone who thinks about other people and who thinks of herself as part of something bigger, which I think is very important. I think I can allow the, ch the children to be um, themselves and to let them grow as an individual because um, um, I can see international school, so everyone is unique. They come from different country, different culture, different background, uh, different languages. And um, I think um, the, their method of, of, of teaching is all in line with the real world. They allow the kids to interact with each other, with, within the group, and with the team, and with, you know, with the other team. I think uh, most, important, most important of all, I, I feel that um, I can um, foster their creative side, allow them to, go, to create things instead of just learning about, uh, um, about facts and stuff. But the real important is that the, the principle of growth mind, mindset. I think this is this this is very this is this is very important because they they can take with them wherever they wherever they go or whenever they leave here. So it will help them when they get to higher education. So. Well, I think one of the main things that you're doing is helping them find, you know, as I was saying before, find reach their full potential, find their place in you know, in life, um, both in, within friendships and within their, their goals, their dreams. And giving them the confidence, I think I can help give them the confidence to make those discoveries. I think also having these, as I mentioned before about the goals, I think that the way I can has these goals, it helps them, you know, it helps shape, shape them in a, in a special way, thinking, you know, outside of themselves, you know, how their actions also impact, you know, others, you know, that they just have a lot of privilege and you're helping them recognise all those privileges that they have and trying to make the most of everything they've been given, you know, and sort of around them and making them responsible, good, you know, human beings, you know, that are going to be more ready to go out into the world and face the big challenges that are frankly out there, you know, for them. Yeah. I always remember Dan's very first teacher, she said the most important thing that she focuses on is the social skills, because if they don't have those, the learning is very hard. If they're not able to, um, you know, if they're not able to be kind, respectful, to listen to, you know, then to other children, then they're not going to be able to advance yeah. anywhere academically. So, and I think I can really, you know, be shaping them like that as well. Well, I have, I have two boys here at ICANN. Uh, one is a teenager and um, the youngest is in, in finishing elementary soon. Um, and those, there are two younger children. And um, I really love the sort of language that they come home with, describing um, like how people are all different and that it's okay to be different. And I, I think, again, the ethos here is very accepting and very inclusive. That's definitely communicated to the kids, and there's a real um, there's a real uh, unity in the way the, te the uh, consistency in the way the teachers talk uh, and the sorts of issues and how they tackle issues, social issues through learning. Um, so I I think it's the openness. Children are. are 
everybody encouraged to participate, they're encouraged to express their opinions, um, and I'm really not aware of times where there's been some real telling offs. It's, things are managed in a, in a much um, more constructive way. So, you know, having two boys, there are plenty of incidents of them being sort of behaving below par. Um, but I also really like the way that the school um, approaches discipline issues and um, behavioural issues. And, and of course the children learn from that. They learn and they, they understand that it's very much about treating other people as they wish to be treated.